have been talking about fixing our schools all this week, and it is what we are talking about today in our What Matters segment. CNN Education contributor Steve Perry traveled to Atlanta recently to moderate a panel of young people who offer their opinions about what works and what doesn't in the education system. Anytime we have a conversation about what we can do, I think we need to start with a conversation about what we must do. What are some of the issues that the youth are dealing with that are specific to this generation? My main problem with education and the way that the system is set up now, especially like coming from my perspective, a youth from the inner city, I couldn't connect how what they were teaching me on this blackboard, how it was gonna make a change in my life. How can I take this back to the hood? And you know, I did get caught with marijuana at school. And then uh, it was two teachers that I felt like I was really close to. And when they, when they turned me in, you know, I felt betrayed. Little did I know they was really looking out for me. The point that I'm trying to make is that the teachers saw the problem, but also they saw the interest that I had in music. So when they saw the opportunity for me to combine my, my passion with education, they jumped on it. And I, and I thank God for them, you know what I'm saying? Because like, that's where it all started. What are some of the specific issues that you see? So um, I work um, in Kenya, I'm based in Kenya, in, in Africa, and I work with a lot of youth in, in the underserved areas, in the slums, and they don't get access to anything, not even um, education, food, nothing, and they're, they're just hidden in their houses. Um, and I work in really poor areas where youth are really um, suffering from social stigma and social pressure, you know, and they don't get the opportunity that, you know, youth here would get. We don't know poverty like you've seen poverty. Sometimes I, I think that we need to get a sense of the rest of the world to understand that which we have. Dr. Lomax, one of the things I would like you to do is to hearken back to your old life as a college president. You saw some specific challenges that our children face. Well, I think the, the problems that I saw our youth facing in the 1950s and 60s when I was their age. I saw a lack of opportunity. I saw poverty. I saw injustice. And I saw that that in order to address that lack of opportunity, that that poverty, that injustice, we had to do something ourselves. And the first thing we had to do was to believe in ourselves. And then we had to enable ourselves with education and the skills to overcome the barriers that were there. And that's why I decided very early in life that I wanted to be an educator. We can teach, we can intervene in the life of someone else and help, lip, and help lift that person up. Adam, I'm gonna ask you to jump in. When somebody says they come from nothing, you feel like you have nothing, therefore, no matter how much you have, you don't see the capacity that you bring. How is it that you see people who many of us would consider having nothing finding something in that and then doing something with it? In the last five years, I've backpacked through 50-something countries, mainly really, really some of the poorest places on Earth. And I think a, a really beautiful analogy is the notion that, you know, redwoods grow to be, you know, hundreds and hundreds of feet tall, but that redwood couldn't have grown to be that size if it was planted in a pot, right? And that, that latent seed is there in every person in this room, and it's there in every person in the developing world, too. I think it's just about unlocking that potential, and you find time and time again, they believe in themselves. In, in that part of the world. I mean, no matter how poor they are, they know they have the capacity to create change. You know, the message of the panel seems to be changing the education system can change our nation's future for the better, and it is a responsibility that belongs to everyone. To read more stories that matter to all of us, just pick up the latest issue of Essence Magazine on newsstands right now.